app is not just a membership platform. It's much more than that. It's the most comprehensive membership platform out there. Over the years, we have added a ton of new features and new integrations while sustaining the very high quality support that we are known for. But we are well aware that it's time to give the DAP admin interface a full facelift. Hi, this is Meena Prashant and I feel very proud to announce the release of the new DAP admin report interface. We know that this was a much needed feature and we are very confident that you are going to love this new update. Without much ado, let me give you a quick tour of the new DAP admin interface, the first of many more UI updates to come. Alright, let's take a look at our new and much improved DAP admin homepage. When you arrive at the homepage, you will notice that by default, it is set to report on last seven days of activity. But you can use the calendar here to change the date to anything you want, or you can pick any one of these options and then click on run all reports. Everything that you see here, all the different categories of reporting is all done based on the selected date range right here. I changed the start date to be one year prior to today. This way there will be sufficient data to report on. Then I clicked on run all reports and now I have the full report detailing all the different sales and signups that took place over the course of the year. Let's take a look at each individual category. The first one, earning summary breakdown by product. You will see that we have represented the same data in multiple ways for easy comprehension. The first one is a tabular representation where you will see a breakdown by products and then the totals for each stat. Below that, there are two different visual representation of each individual stat. For example, number of sales. You will see there is a line chart and there is a pie chart. If you want to know how your products did at any given point in time, you can take a look at the line chart. For example, if you hover over any one of these lines, you will see how the product did at any given point in time. Now, if you take a look at the pie chart, you will see the totals for that selected time range. For example, here you can see the platinum membership did the best in that selected time range. Now, let's take a look at each individual stat and how it's calculated. The first one, total sales. It's a sum total of all the sales for the product in the specified date range. Now, the way it's calculated is if you go to the DAP payments orders page, it will bring up a page like this. Select the same date range that you have selected in the DAP admin report homepage and hit search after selecting the product that you want to take a look at. It's going to bring up all the transactions for the selected product in that time range. Now, you will see that there are 16 transactions. So that's what you see here in the total sales. Now the sale amount is 42.01. Again, if you go to the transactions page and if you add up these numbers, it's going to be the same as what you see here. Now this does not include refunds. Refunds we have right here. We track it separately. You will see the total refunds is zero here. There is one refund here for gold membership. Now let's go back here, search for gold membership in that same time range. Now you will see here there was one refund for $10. So you can go back to the homepage and you will see here there was one refund. The refund amount was 10 for this product in that selected date range. Now the net amount is the difference between the sales amount and the refund amount. And as I mentioned before, for easy comprehension and compare, we also have graphs representing each individual stat. So we have detailed breakdown of number of sales using line chart as well as pie chart. Similarly, we have one for sales amount, number of refunds as well as refund amount. Now let's take a look at members per product summary and how it's calculated. We are reporting two stats here, total active and total expired, and it's broken down by product. What this really means is how many members registered new for any one of these products in the selected date range and are still active. Total expired, what it means is how many members that registered in the selected date range for any one of these products and they are no longer active. Their access has expired. And the total is the sum of active and expired. Now let's say I'm trying to capture a list of all the users who became members of my free or my paid product between these two dates. My start date is one year prior to today. So it's June 2014 and my end date is June 2015. Now I'm trying to figure out all the members that joined between these two dates and whose access is still active. And I'm also trying to figure out all the members who joined between these two dates 
but whose axis is no longer active. Now here's how DAP figures that out. Now if you visit the DAP Users Manage page, you will notice that there is an access start and access end date for every user product row. Now to figure out if the users were active in the selected time range, DAP uses the access start and the access end date. Now in this case, you will notice that all of these users, their access started after June 2014. So they will all fall under the active category except these two because here the access to the product has expired. Now please note that if a user has access to multiple products like you see here, same user, same email has access to multiple products and access to just one of the products has expired. So this user will actually fall under both active as well as expired category because in this case the user will be counted as an expired user of this product and in all the other cases the user will be counted as an active user of the other products. You will notice that here there are two users with expired access to product and they will fall under the expired count and otherwise all the other user product rows here they will all fall under the active count. Now right below the members per product summary if you collapse this you will notice there is overall member summary. Now this will give you the total total active and total expired. The members per product gave you the product level breakdown that you see here but if you collapse this you will see that there is a member overall summary which will give you the total regardless of the product. So in that selected date range there were a total of 14 members active and two expired members. Now earlier we looked at earnings summary by product which was a product level breakdown of the totals the total sales total refunds net amount and we also have another report which is the overall earnings summary this is a breakdown by year and month. So the selected time period is June 2014 to June 2015. So you will see here it starts from uh, June 2014 and it goes down all the way to uh, May 2015. And you will see how many sales per month we had starting from June 2014 to May 2015. So you will see this breakdown. So this is a different way of representing the earnings. Um, instead of breaking down by product, this is the overall total regardless of the product. This is a monthly total. Now we also have visual representation. Now you will see the number of sales line chart as well as the pie chart. You can see how the number of sales went up in this month and then went down again. This is for the selected date range and you will also find the net amount and you will see how the earnings went up here. In September 2014 and then went down again and there is also the pie chart so you can see how you are doing each month and which month did the best. We hope you like the new DAP admin report. We'll be releasing many more updates to the DAP admin UI in the coming weeks. This is Veena Prashant from Dashlaxis Pass. Thanks for watching.